that's the way uh-huh uh-huh i like it uh-huh uh-huh that's the way that's the way daytona amca national swap meet Hey, it's, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles and I made it a little late, later than normal. I had to fly in from the Great White North, but we are here. Today is Leap Day, Sadie Hawkins Day, 2024. And we are at Daytona Municipal Stadium at the Antique Motorcycle Collectors Club National Meet, the Sunshine Chapter. Years ago, this was in Jacksonville. Then they moved it to Eustis, then New Smyrna, and now we're here. Hello. And we are walking in. I'm pretty excited. And the good thing is, Admission is free to AMCA members, so join up, sign in. Now this looks like mostly the ride-in bikes. Got to get my bearings. Nice Duo Glide 58. Where should we start? Knucklehead. Nice looking Airstream. Well, we're just gonna start where we are. Hey! How much on your own goes there? Now, yesterday was setup day, so today is the first opening day. Here's some sprint motors. Looking at the stuff down there. Flatty. So this is 65. First year Electric Glide, last year Panhead, very collectible. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to go out of order. Mooring MC20, $650, that's pretty cool. Ooh, I have a square four. Mine's a 58. $20 books. Good deal. Special tools. Mm. We're working on Harley's, huh? Don't know. I think so. Yep. Remember these SS1s? When I bought that motor goosey, there you go. Here's one for a rebuild. Nineteen fifty-three pan E start. Okay, so you change out the oil tank so you can get a twelve volt battery back there. Change the cases. This is so you can have electric start. Any phone number? 
Runs good. Disc front brake. Oh, I missed the disc. Yeah. Sorry, folks. No phone number. I do love the hand shift. Super E carburetor. Just buy it out. When was the last time you seen a knucklehead in a sloth tail? <laughs> was that last year? Yeah, Up there. Last year. Up yeah. Here. He's in the back of my truck. Another slab sided shovel. These are getting to be my favorite Harleys. What year is this? Ah, first year. Check this thing out. Sixty four XLCH. Here's the three gallon gate. And this is on a pan head. Triumph stuff, Harley stuff. First year, 1969 Fomer full face helmet, hundred dollars. Our best offer. Yeah, I don't know anything about helmets. I know that a good one will save your life. Yeah. yeah. Alpina. Why don't you give me your name and number? And a Scorpion. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what's going on with the taco. I never, uh, there's no compression, but oh, everything that's... else, the gearing seems all right. Like I say, I, 15 years ago, I got them and never did anything with them, except I wanted to paint that tank. That's, yeah. that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. You mind if I push the kicker through? No, go ahead. That's a King Scorpion, see? So it's going to have a battery, a horn, a generator. A little different than the Scorpion. King Scorpion. Yeah, I know. I'm oh, just I'm pointing sorry. out the differences. This is the... Kawasaki, uh, I don't know if you call this the second generation, the modern iteration of the W1, which was a copy of the BSA English Twins. Kind of a cult bike. Right side, electric start. Replaces kicker cover on 36 through 79 Harley Big Twins. That's what it looks like. That's just that's a, cut, that's a cutaway version of it. That's what yeah, Archie the. Wow, we got a selection of helmets. Starting at 50 bucks. 
the thing is, is he made it. Hi. It's going well, thank you. Bullpen. Yeah. Where he was doing it, I don't That's a Royal Enfield. Oh, it's, it says Indian Woodsman. So it's a Royal Enfield Indian. Yeah. yeah. Made in England, yes. Big single cylinder. Indeed. I wonder if people aren't here yet because it's Thursday. We will be back tomorrow to fill in the gaps. So if people are arriving tonight, we will catch them tomorrow. Yeah, these aren't really my thing here. These retro things. We have a 2018 Janus. And a modern Cushman with a Vanguard motor in it. And a Simplex with just the right amount of patina. Oh, I have to go and check out this drag bike. Since we know all about drag bikes now. Thank you. That's the best thing makes you clean little points, isn't it? Oh, I know this guy. He was here last year. What's up, man? Hi, not much. Tell us about your drag bike. Uh, it's 65 inch. It was built for uh, Arma Vintage Drags. It was commissioned by uh, Luke Connor, and he died right when I finished it. So I haven't even put oil in it. And what what size is the motor? Is it stroke? 65 inch. 65. A little stroke. Okay. All right. Yeah. It was built for longevity. You know, it's just for fun. It's got brand new tires, front and rear, Kevlar clutch, plates. It's ready to go. Oh, and he's got, uh, I had to buy a pair of those too, the M&H Reproduction Slicks. Yeah. 4.0 by 18. Yes, sir. I know all about them. <laughs> glad to find it. Yeah, I'm glad they did that. Yeah, that was outstanding. 70, 80, dollars that's not bad at all. Ah, like I need another freaking Triumph. T120R matching numbers, third owner, old repaint, new top end. Piston guide springs title here. 704 575 8212 8500. 1970 is the last year for the non oil frame it's considered the best bonneville they have the geometry right and uh that's an okay price for what you're getting oh hey how about an mx250 harley tank now this was another one year only production thing Oh, it says parts wanted. That's why it's there. <laughs> well, call the guy with a Triumph if you have parts. No problem. Hello. Don't squirt me. Don't squirt me. Nice looking pan. Boy, don't they look good in black and chrome. Oh, here you go. Oh, it's an EL. 48 EL. Isn't that the first year for Pan? Isn't 48 the first year for the Pan? I think it was, yes. Yeah, and that's why it's priced where it's at. Mm -hmm. You can only get that one year. That's right. Because after that, then they got rid of the Springer front end.
get a dual glide. Don't know what year. It's 59. Second year dual glide. And an Italian SS250. This will have the, oh, it has a downpipe because it's not the SXT. My first bike, I just, I'm drawn to them a little bit. It's funny. Lots of people are drawn to this. I, I, I guess it was the affordability and it was just the sheer fun of having a little enduro and, dirt bike. And, and you got to say you had a Harley. My brother right. had a Triumph. I say, I have a Harley. It was right. 125. It I was, have a Harley. And, right. Well, yeah. And, yeah. And so like, it seems like as rusty and crusty as that is, everybody is Actually, drawn to Actually, for one that. of those, it's not bad because the rims and chrome were, were, were crap. Right. But, yeah. But everybody has a, a story or a memory of, of that bike. So it's it was, I bought that bike and I was like, man, it's, it's a cool little bike. I should buy it. And I bought it. And then after I bought it and how everybody gravitated towards it, it was like, yeah, it was the best purchase I've ever made. Cool, cool. Yeah, <laughs> and it, was, it wasn't, didn't it, cost you a lot. Yeah, it didn't cost me a lot. And it, and it runs and drives and it's fun. And it's yep. like, you know, cool. I like it. Here it says, nine grand in parts. Now I'm not sure what I'm looking at because I see the hardtail frame. It's not a soft tail, but I see the front disc, front end. But you guys will know. Look at all those vintage patches. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You know, this is something that finds out. Oh, here yeah. is the original W1. And that is nice. Except for that reflection in the gas tank. Gotta get that out. It was. That was a Honda line accessory. Oh, and it's from Pennsylvania. Hey, that's a four stroke, so it's an XT, and there's a pair of them. It's a clean one. How do you like that lantern style tail light? That's pretty cool. How'd we miss the Hodaka? So, I think that's an early one, judging by the low fenders. Hey, Dave. Hi there. I am well. I uh, emailed, uh, texted you a couple of times. I hope I replied. You did? Oh, good. I was gonna come see you today, and you says, oh, the big show's today. Oh, good. How you doing, man? I am well. Okay, that's... An AMF Harley because of the cone ignition. So if you buy a Sprint, you might get a t-shirt. Maybe. <laughs> no, the t-shirt's 5800 Oh, and the Sprint comes with it. Good for you, yeah. good for you, yeah. Look at this. Chrome frame, or nickel plated, can't tell. Uh, I'm guessing nickel plated. Is 
Is that an FXRT maybe? A little rup. How you doing now? I'm doing well, man. doesn't look as full as I remembered. It may be because it's still early. I'm looking at the book. Oh, bicycle. Eh. I wonder if it's Elvis's. <laughs> yeah. LED conversion kit for your six volt pre focused headlights. So, would they work if you had like a magneto on a two stroke that puts out six volts? Did you ever try one? I'm just sitting here for a friend of mine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask. You need to come back. I will. Um, but yeah, they're they will run properly anywhere from four to twenty. Yeah, because our Opal Tacos don't have batteries. They just got the Magneto, which puts out six volts, six ish AC. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's AC. Well, it would still work. The diode will rectify it. You're right. Norton, steel. Somebody wants that. That's a steel Norton tank. Yeah, somebody wants that. Yeah, send them over. Early lightning. Sixty-six. Yeah. This is sort of an item too. This Honda Hawk. I think they're yeah, eighty-eight. This is a single-sided swing arm. Are these, what size are these? Uh, 650, it's an NT650R. Yeah. Aluminum frame and single sided swing arm. Very exotic in its day. For but its now time. it's pretty common to have an aluminum frame. Yeah. That single sided swing arm Ducati did, but those are the only two companies I can think of. A couple other ones I think modern bikes are doing it. Beamer. Maybe the Triumph Adventure bike too, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. More infield stuff. Oh, there's my chrome tank. Forty-eight Indian Chief. No price. I'm sure it's a repaint, but it's not overdone. It's a rider. Very nice. There's more. Oh, let's check this stuff out. What the heck is this? Oh, Ducati. $3,500 current Vermont registration. Uh oh. Vincent. Black Shadow. I 
don't have one of those yet. Did you get my reply on the one you sent me this you know, Two stroke, three dollars. Deluxe. Pre-lux. Ten dollar oil cans. The cardboard ones. It was it was this and sweet. <laughs> that just meant there was oil still in. <laughs> Uh, you been here long? No, I just came in. Where's Carl at over here? Yeah, he's back there where he, he is last year. I wonder if he brought his uh, test to bring his test. So I see, look, he he's got sprockets on both sides. He can change it over anytime he wants to change the gearing. Right, well, I will catch up with you guys And later. it's a driver because he put concentrics on it. Very nice. We missed him starting it. Oh well. Are those real? How about a bathtub Triumph? I wonder if it's a 6T, like mine. So this is not dented. That's how they are. They're pointed, and some of them had a little chrome piece on the front. Where do you want that Right there's your spot. Most people took the bathtubs off. K model engine. Nope, haven't seen them yet. Sixty-six, sixteen five. First year, that's not bad. First year. Oh three. Seven K miles. Thirty four fifty. A lot of bike for the money. Norton top ends. Osa tank. There's a Norton air cleaner. Buko bags with mounts. Nicely restored Husqvarna tank. Beamer stuff. Harley, is that original paint? I don't know. $400.